What up, my Jeep peeps? What up, my Gladiator gang? What up, everybody in between? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I've got a couple projects going on that I want to do with my brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in the Hydro Blue. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and get these windows tinted up. Um, just the uh, driver side and the passenger side. I really want them to match the very back window and the back side windows because they are dark. Now, I don't know if legally I can, uh, but we're going to see what we can do. But uh, you know what? No hair. I don't care. But I'll let you know. So that's my first project. I'm actually going to be heading there very shortly. Um, so what I will do is get a before picture of the... Um, uh, side windows and then once the tinting is done I will give you a picture of the uh, after. So I'm about to head there shortly but my other project that I've got set up for today that I'm going to try to do today is um, I ordered a hood quick lift kit from Redline Tuning. This was recommended for from my friends at um, the Jeep Gladiator group that I'm in, and then also I've got a buddy that's got a Gladiator. Apparently it's a quick, easy install, but as my friends know, I am not mechanically inclined, uh, so I will attempt it on my own, but if not, I will try to get somebody to help. So in the meantime, let me get you a quick shout, shout, shot. I do bloopers, I'm not gonna edit them out. That's okay, because that's how I am. Um, let me give you a quick shot of the windows before the tint, and then of course, once that's done, once I get back from the tinting place, or while I'm at the tinting place, I'll give you a shot of the after. So let's do real quick. So, all right, quick shot. God, this truck is badass. I love it. I can't stand it how gorgeous it is. So we see how clear those are. Yeah. Hey, Bye-bye. We don't leave. We want to see this dark. So I will let you know. But in the meantime, I am headed over to the tinting shop. So I will catch up. All right, guys, I'm back. I just got the uh, tint done on the Jeep, and I gotta say, it looks awesome. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Matches the back window. I love it. So I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Chris and Rachel here at Artistic Solar Films. Please check them out on Rocky Ridge Road in Birmingham. Here is their number and hours again they did a fantastic job on this tent here i am really really impressed with it so here it is once again sorry for being so loud we're near the express line. all right well i'm gonna head out remember i've got another project to do uh today so i will see you at the house all right everybody we are back at the house remember earlier i did say that i had a second project that i needed to complete today and that is going to be installing the uh, quick lift hood struts from Redline Tuning. Um, I did say earlier that I'm not mechanically inclined and I'm not. So when I um, looked at the instructions and the pieces, I was like this. Yeah, deer and headlight. So I got the hubster involved because he's mechanically inclined. So we are going to do this together. So we basically already put the hood back. Um, we've got the pieces prepared. We got the instructions ready. There's hubby, he's gonna be helping me. So our first step, babe, is what? We're gonna unbolt this. Mm -hmm. And let's do that. They say this is a quick install, we'll see. First piece we'll be installing, I guess, is this bracket, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be doing there. Which will be go. The instructions do seem to be very simple. Um, it just required a 10 millimeter socket. That's what we're using to take these bolts off.
Okay, make sure that's snug, so then we'll go on to the other side and do the exact same thing. Um, we're doing that. So while Rob is doing that side, the reason I'm doing this is because, look, if you're going to spend $60,000 on a vehicle like I did, I don't need a little cheapo little rod up there to hold up my roof. I want some struts. So that's why we're doing these. And these seem really nice uh, looking struts. Again, they were recommended by a lot of folks in my Gladiator group. And a buddy of mine also had put them on. So let's see how we're doing over here. My nice, beautiful, clean engine. Of course, I've only had the car two weeks. I think I have just over 600 miles on it. But now look, ain't nobody has no bee to come up in my video. I need for you to leave. So really, there's only four parts to this install, correct? We have those two bump, uh, two mounts there, and then these are actually what the struts um, connect to at the top, and those that's what we're going to be working on next. I actually did watch a YouTube video on how to install these, uh, just in case Rob wasn't around to help. Um, again, it looked simple, but um, not mechanically. Okay, so now we're going to be putting in the struts. It looks like, on the other YouTube video, um, it looks like that they had cut that rubber seal down a little bit. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. Um, Rob can tell me if it gets in the way, if we should cut it off, trim it a little bit. But, uh, so now we're just installing the other piece. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties. All right, so Rob has gotten the left one in. We were having some problems with the right one. We have to go back to that one. So he's got those, that one, one, one blooper but I'm not cutting it out that one went right in no problem first time so we don't understand why the right one is being a pain in the ass but that is the story of our lives so if I get those tightened down All right, now we're gonna go try to get this right one back on. Hopefully it will go in smooth. I didn't the first time. That left one, Rob popped that right in with no problem, first try. All right, peeps, sorry about that. So after much um, finagling around, Rob finally got that piece in. Uh, he seemed to think that it was maybe the bracket. But now we're doing the install of the um, struts themselves, which, um, probably the is looks like an easy quick install I mean mm -hmm. bada bing bada boom but yeah that bracket um, mm -hmm. took a few minutes to do so but so far it's looking really good thank God Rob works in the auto industry so he knows a little something I think we're ready to test, no? Yes. All right, so I will let um, Rob do the honors and clean that up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that thing is kind of weird to find. There we go. All right, guys, that was it. Nice. I really dig it. Um, yeah, so um, again, a big shout out to, well, really not a shout out, but um, if you're interested in some quick hood struts, uh, the Redline tuning struts, they were 90 bucks. Um, 
yeah that bracket was a little hard to put in but really honestly this was like a 10 minute job i think of that all right so there we go we have the new struts on the 2020 jeep gladiator mojave all right well that's going to do it for me today so that's the project's done on to our next don't know what it's going to be yet so make sure that you like and subscribe to this video uh, give it a big thumbs up also you can follow me on instagram at my underscore mojave or my other account which is just my regular account beach bear 71 so follow me on instagram all right i appreciate it thanks again until the next video peace out